For most people, whether they look sloppy or gorgeous, skinny or corpulent, it's their own business, but when it comes to K-pop idols, their appearance, including a beautiful face and a standard body, is of paramount importance. That's why some idols whose appearances were said to not be appealing enough often become the object of many kinds of uncomely jokes which make them feel bad about themselves. The sad thing is, those who make fun of them are their own colleagues, sometimes even groupmates. Number 1. Chung Bin was said to be body shamed by Hun. Although Chung Bin is a really talented idol as he's in charge of the main rapper, sub vocalist, and producer of Stray Kids, some people seem to not even care about that and instead, they care more about his appearance as Chung Bin has frequently been teased for his allegedly not so appealing visual by netizens and even his groupmates. Particularly in a show, when Han showed off his genuine drawing talent, Sheng Bin was nominated to get his portrait due to his unique characteristics. At that time, he looked so elated that he was chosen among eight members to be the model. This really piqued all members' curiosity as Han said it was the first time he was looking at another's face so close. Only after a few seconds, he drew a portrait of Sheng Bin, but for some reason, the other members suddenly burst out laughing. Turned out, the face in the drawing that Han drew looked almost like a plowshare one and didn't look like Chung Bin at all. The thing is, all other members said that it was 1 million percent in sync with Chung Bin's face, implicitly saying that his face was that long and ugly. Although Chung Bin was seen smiling, people noticed that his smile looked rather awkward and believed that he was really hurt. It is worth mentioning that this is not the first time that Chung Bin was said to get body shamed by his groupmates. In a V-Live, Han and Chung Bin starred as guests on the 100th episode of Chan's Room, and Bang Chan convinced Han to record his part in the pre-existing song he made called Can't Live Without So Chung Bin. Han started off hesitantly and seriously, but then compared Chung Bin to a walrus for his slightly big nose, which led Han himself to start giggling during his recording. The sudden reference to the sea mammal induced uproarious laughter in Bang Chan too, while Chung Bin sulked at the supposed resemblance. After that, they searched on the internet for what sea elephants look like and chortled when they came across this photo and assumed that it was adorable. However, Sheng Bin seemed to get exasperated and tried to restrain himself. When Chan asked why he didn't hold his hand, Sheng Bin just shook his head with a fed up expression on his face. Regarding this joke, Stay was divided into two conceptual contrasts. Some assumed that the boys just made jokes with their bosom friends and Sheng Bin also did not take it seriously. It was just literally ingrained in their heads to automatically tease Sheng Bin and he should get some payback soon. Others claimed that it was really uncomfortable to watch such videos of other members body shaming Sheng Bin and said that they should put an end to these jokes as it would hurt Sheng Bin so much. Worst of all, Sheng Bin even got jokingly called ugly by a so-called fan during a video fan call. Specifically, on April 25, a Twitter user posted a video chat she had with Sheng Bin and the video's content infuriated many admirers. In the video, this fan revealed to Sheng Bin that they had previously met, adding that she still kept the photo she had taken with him on that occasion. She then asked if she can show the picture to him. After Sheng Bin said yes, she showed the picture of a walrus, referring to him as ugly. As soon as Sheng Bin realized he was fooled, he kept silent and looked extremely uncomfortable. Needless to say, Stay got really mad at the fangirl for making fun of Sheng Bin's appearance in such an uncomely way. According to them, no fan has the right to make such a joke with idols because as fans, they should constantly be aware of their place and understand that they are neither idols' as close friends nor relatives. Later, after receiving numerous criticism from netizens, the video was deleted from Twitter and that fan's account was also set to private. Number 2. Hechan was said to be body shamed by Jisung. So after the behind the scenes vlog of the group's trip to Germany was uploaded, Jisung was under fire due to his allegedly offensive comments on Hechan's skin tone. In particular, while Jisung and Chun Lo filmed themselves hanging out with each other in the city of Frankfurt, where they performed at the mega K pop concert K pop Flex, they had dropped by a restaurant to grab lunch. When enjoying their meal, Chen Lo shared that what they were eating will make them become paler as he usually eats this since he was a child, and that's why he's so pale. Jisung then joked, do you think He Chen will become pale if he eats this? And Chen Lo immediately replied to him, no. 
After the video circulated on social media, Jisung received loads of mixed opinions with many netizens criticizing the male idol for his allegedly mindless comment which implied that Hechan has a darker skin tone than them. Some even claim that Jisung is mature enough to be aware of what he's going to talk about, but he still seems ignorant. Some even straight up called Jisung a colorist and said that his fans need to stop defending him. Despite that, many supporters still came to defend Jisung while many netizens turned their back on the male idol. They said that he didn't have any bad intentions as he just asked questions that come up in his mind without knowing that this could be an act of colorism. Moreover, there must be a misunderstanding as people might have different ways to get the meaning of his words. Some also commented that he was just joking around with his friend, but some toxic and overly sensitive netizens assumed that he was making a colorist remark about Hye Chan. Number 3, Miju Lovelies was said to be body shamed by Barry Good's Jo Hyun. In the May 19th episode of the show Video Star, aired on NBC Every One Channel, Jo Hyun Barry Good was believed to have made a controversial statement regarding Miju's appearance, causing the female idol to receive countless criticisms from netizens, especially Miju's fans. Specifically, when the MC asked Jo Hyun to compare her body with Miju's, while Miju, who has a sense of humor, quickly stood up and posed, Jo Hyun then commented, Of course she is pretty, but her figure is like a chopstick. Please note that I even filmed an underwear advertisement. While saying so, Jo Hyun also posed to show off her curves and to prove that she had a hotter body, which was the reason why she was invited to film an underwear advertisement. As you can guess, Cho Hyun then gained numerous backlash from netizens due to her allegedly body shaming comment. They pointed out that it's super graceless and disrespectful when comparing someone's body, especially your seniors, with chopsticks. It's well known that both Cho Hyun and Miju poses perfectly portioned bodies with attractive curves. Their figures were said to be two of the hottest ones in the whole K-pop industry. However, some assumed that Cho Hyun was jealous of Miju's reputation, so instead of appreciating her peer's body, she tried to drag Miju down and made fun of her to prove that she is better. Believing that Cho Hyun was joking with no malice, many netizens defended her by saying that people were too harsh on her and were blowing things out of proportion. If they watch the whole video, they will realize that Cho Hyun didn't have any mean intention, as she just tried to stir up the atmosphere but it seemed like it didn't work. Cho Hyun's supporters also added that if Cho Hyun's comments got in Miju's nerves, she must have been so upset, but she wasn't because she knew it was just a harmless joke. So instead of exaggerating everything, some people need to chill and stop overreacting. Soon after that, Cho Hyun apologized to Miju for the incident. She uploaded a photo of her and Miju filming the show on her Instagram story with the caption, I was continuously sorry for using extreme comparisons for the fun of the show. I love you, Uni. I'll always cheer you on. So, do you think the above remarks were really body shaming ones? Or are they just jokes exaggerated by netizens? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching!